Today I have an Alienware M17X laptop, and this would probably hurt your lap if you sat it on your lap for very long. It weighs 11 and a half pounds, I think, um, four kilos. It's very, very heavy, and the customer brought it in because it's having Wi-Fi connectivity issues. It doesn't connect to his Wi-Fi at home. He brought it into a shop a while ago, and it connected to their Wi-Fi, and then he brought it home, and it connected to his for a while, and it stopped. So I'm just going to have a look. This thing is a monster. It's huge. Um, I can't think. Here's, here's my mobile phone for comparison. I don't have a banana for scale. Uh, it's running in battery mode, but why? Oh, there we go. Uh, let me just see. So right now, it sees my network, and... So yeah, I think there's definitely something wrong with the wireless card in here. Um, he wants to upgrade to Windows 10. This has Windows 7 Ultimate on it right now. And obviously that's out of support, has been for a while. So before I install Windows 10, I'm going to take an image of the hard drive just in case anything goes terribly wrong. computers. Here it looks like there are these two screws and this should pop off. I'm not sure. Maybe it slides this way. Let's find out. I don't know, it wouldn't slide this way. I can see little notches there. Oh, I think it um, opens like a door. It's hinged. Yep, those are captive screws. Well, that's easy. So there's hard drive zero, hard drive one. I assume the RAM is under here. What I'm really looking for is the Wi-Fi card. I'm just going to peek underneath this, so it's just the RAM, there's no wireless card in there. Okay, so let's take the hard drive out and clone it. Is this disk just going to slide out? That's really interesting. So a little washer or a C-clip actually for a captive screw fell out when I took the drive out of those boyos. And I can see now that three of the screws, two of the screws had those on them. One fell out and one is in here still. Beneath this, there's a black sheath on top of the hard drive I don't want to drop that washer inside the computer. Sorry, it's not a washer, it's a C-clip. Right, this is a very heavy SSD. I don't think I'm going to take it out of this case. There's no point. I'm only going to phone the drive, so... All right, my system sees that as a bad disk. I'm going to reboot. Okay, I've restarted, and now the system sees the customer disk here, which is disk four, I double checked that by just giving it a B, a Wii Explorer. I can see it's definitely his disk. And then my blank 250 gig crucial MX500. So it's slightly smaller than his. Um, I think that shouldn't be a problem. I will copy disk four to disk seven. That's the crucial. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Um, and it looks like it's resizing everything and fitting everything. So we'll just go ahead and apply. Copy disk 4 to disk 7. Apply. No problem. Now we'll just wait for that to finish. Something is obviously wrong. So the disk clone didn't work. Uh, the computer just wouldn't recognize just wouldn't copy the disk. So um, I've given up. I'm a little bit concerned because now my computer just shows that uh, SSD is a bad disk. 
I'm very much hoping that that's not the case, that uh, the disc hasn't just stopped working while in my uh, possession. I'm gonna, so it's saying it needs to do some file checking. So go ahead and check the file system. Just an update on this computer. I tried to clone the drive and it didn't work. My computer wouldn't properly recognize the, the source drive. The SSD that was in here is a Samsung, um, something I've not seen before. It's quite old and my computer just wasn't happy to clone it. So I've put the drive back into this computer Started it up, um, check disk, went through a full thorough disk cleaning or scan, and then Windows booted. So I was happy enough that the, the image is still good on the customer's disk. So I booted into um, Minitool Partition Wizard, and I'm cloning the disk from the computer through the USB interface to uh, another SSD. That way I have a good backup of this computer in case things go wrong when I attempt to install Windows 10. It's got Windows 7 Ultimate on it, so I anticipate Windows 10 should install fine. But with very old hardware like this, you just never know. So there was a long time where if you tried to run the Windows 10 installer straight off of the USB drive, it would fail because during the, the reboot process, it would lose track of which disk was the USB thumb drive. So I'm in the habit of just copying the installer files into a folder on the hard drive taking the USB drive out and then running it from there. So that's what I'll do. I'm just waiting for that to copy. Windows 10 installed successfully. I'm going to let Windows Update run, and then I will get this back to the customer. Job done. Thanks for watching.